So in this video, I'll be showing you something called tetration, and I'll also be telling you why you were never taught this in school. All right. So be first things first. Let's look at this concept here. So if I have the the one here by the right hand side, this is called two to the power of four. And most of us are familiar with this. But then when you have this concept here, the one by the left hand side, where well, you have two, but the power is now on the left hand side. How do you deal with with um problems like this? What do you do? Now, problems like the one you have on the left hand side is called tetration. All right. What exactly is tetration? And why were you not taught tetration in school? Let's look at a basic definition. Now, by definition, what exactly is tetration? By definition, tetration is an operation or mathematical concept based on iterated or repeated exponentiation. All right. So when it comes to tetration, we'll be doing repeated exponentiation. All right. The keyword here are iterated or repeated and exponentiation. So these are like the keywords when it comes to the concept of tetration. Now let's take an example to explain what tetration means. Now back to my question. Let's look at these two things. The one by the right hand side, 2 to the power 4. Let's start with this. Now most of us are familiar with the concept of things like 2 to the power 4. Now what this simply means is that now if you have 2 to the power 4, now, we're already familiar with this. Now, what this means is that I'll be multiplying this term, which is 2, by itself by this number of times. That means I'm multiplying 2 with 2 four times. So I have 2 times 2. This is like 2 times multiplied by 2. That's a third one. Multiplied by 2. That's a fourth one. So 2 to the power of 4 means multiply 2 four times, of course, by itself. And this will give you, if 2 multiplies 2, I have 4. 4 multiplies 2, I have 8. 8 multiplies 2, I have 16. So I have 16 as my answer. Right, so this is what we know. What if it's been reversed a bit? What if I now have 2, but this time the 4 or the fourth power is by the left hand side? What does this mean? Now, here's how to solve problems on tetration. Now, this means I'll be taking the exponents of 2 four times. So, this would now be 2 raised to the power of 2. That's 2 times now. Raised to the power of 2. Raised to the power of 2. So, in, this, in tetration, it means I will raise this term here, the one, this term here, which is 2, to this number of times. That's 4. Right. So, I'm having 2 raised to the power of 2, raised to the power of 2, raised to the power of 2. This is the first one. This is the second one, this is the third, and this is the fourth. Alright, so how do we solve this exactly? Now, in solving this, this will be equal to, now, to solve this, start with the highest power here, with this one here. We know that 2 raised to the power 2 gives you 2 times 2, that's the value of 2 raised to the power 2, and that's equal to 4. So if I plug this back here, it means I now have something that looks like this one here. 2 to the power of this one here to power 2 then to this value here which we got as 4 that becomes to power 4 so i have this value here now proceeding with this i'll still do the same thing here that's why it's called an iteration when something is iterated it means it is repeated that's why we said repeated exponentiation right so if i'm to solve this one here proceeding i'd have to deal with this one here so what we have here is simply equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which we did initially, and we got 16 as our answer. I will now plug 16 back here, plug it back here. I would have something that looks like this. So I'm having this 2 here becomes 2 raised to the power of 2 to the power of 4 gave us 16. So I have to pass 16. All right. So at this point here, of course, I'll have to use a calculator. 2 to the power of 16 means 2 times 2 up till 16 times, which is very, very large. All right. So at this point, I'll just use a calculator, right? Uh, let me get my calculator. 
So I'll just raise 2 to the power of 16 and see what I get. So if I raise 2 to the power of 16, my value here, if you punch your calculator, you have 65,536 as your answer. So this is how this is done. All right. So this is the concept of tetration, right? It has to do with repeated or iterated exponentiation, as I, as I just did here. Now, you may, you may want to ask, for most persons, they've never seen this before. Why is it that I don't teach this in school? Now, the concept is simple. The values for tetration can be so large that it could literally get out of hand. All right? Now, let me, show you, let me show you an example. Let's say I'm using 10, for instance. Let's say I have 10 to the power of 10, like this. Now, let's start with smaller numbers. If I have 10 to power, let's say 2, this is simply equal to 10 times 10 which gives you about 100 okay what if i have 10 to the power of 3 that will be equal to 10 times 10 times 10 all right now i'm about to show you why tetration wasn't taught in your school right so just follow me up closely this is equal to 1000 so in essence observe that the number of the number you have here is simply the number of zeros you attach at the end. So when 10 is raised to power 2, it simply means write 1 and attach 2 zeros as you see here. All right. When 10 is raised to power 3, it means write 1 and attach 3 zeros, and that's your answer. Hence, if I have 10 to power 5, this is simply equal to write 1 and attach 5 zeros. So I'll have 1, 2, comma, 3. Four, five. That's your answer. Also, back to my question. This, if I have ten raised to power ten, now what would this be? Very simple. I would have one, then raise it to power or add ten zeros. Yeah, I'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10. So I have 10 zeros here. Let's put a comma here. Put a comma here. Put a comma here. So I have this figure. So this is what I will have if I have 10 to the power 10. Now imagine we are doing titration with these same values. What if I had this, that's 10, to let's say 10 here like this. What if you had to do a titration on these numbers? What would this give you? Now this is what you'd have. This would literally be equal to equal to 10 to power 10 this is 1 to power 10 this is 2 to power 10 this is 3 to power 10 this is 4 to power 10 this is 5 to power 10 this is 6 to power 10 this is 7 to power 10 this is 8 to power 10 this is 9 to power 10 this is 10 so this is what you'd be having and now let's try to solve this one by one, if we can. Um, let's start with this first two. We said starting with this first two here. With this first two, 10 to power, to power 10 is just what we just had here. Look at this, like this whole value, which is about which is about 10 trillion, 10 trillion, right? So I'll be having something that looks like that means here this value alone is about this to power 10 trillion, 10 to one two three one two three one two three so i'll be having something that looks like this right now if this is correct if this is correct imagine having to solve this one here imagine you have to solve this one here try to imagine what your answer would look like so you can see that when it comes to cases of tetration the values can literally go out of hand and because of this it's not really um applicable or it's not it's not really practical so because of this you don't you don't readily learn titration in school that's why you don't learn titration because the values can be so large that they go out of hand so that's why you don't do titration all right okay so before i go let me give you a task so if you have let's say um three to power four let's say you have this can you guess what the answer would be for what you've learned so far so leave your answer in the comment section. So I have 3 here. I'm doing titration of 3 to power 4 like this. 
but in tertiary concepts, what do you think your answer would be or the answer would be? All right, leave the answer in the comment section. So if you learned something new today, please make sure you like this video. All right, um, leave a comment. Leave the answer of this question, this one here. I just asked a question here. So provide the answer to this question in the comment section. Also, if it's your first time, please do well to subscribe to this channel for more content. And don't forget to share this video to your friends so that they can also learn. So share this video to your friends so that they can also learn, all right? You can also visit my website, www.jonahimani.com to check out my available books and courses. Thank you and see you in our next class.